Hi guys, welcome back to Lady Aquatica. This won't be a fun video today. I'm actually dealing with a situation with my Euphelia corals. I believe it is a bacterial infection and I'm going to tell you why. All of my other corals are doing fantastic. Um, even the Euphelia during the daytime are fully extended so it's really hard to see what's going on. I'm filming right now literally two minutes after the lights have turned on because this is when I, I notice what's going on. I actually notice it when the lights are off um, the most. So I'm going to try and get some some close-ups so you guys can see what's going on with the euphelia. I've never dealt with a bacterial infection on my euphelias before, so I don't know really what's going on. Um, I'm going to get a little closer here. This one right here, uh, if I could point right there, there's some peeling going on. I could try and zoom in and see if you guys can see that better. But there's peeling um, on, it's so devastating. Um, the coral looks healthy, it's extended, but it's just peeling right off the, the branch. And then uh, part of it over here at the bottom has already died. So this coral is definitely impacted. The one I care the most about is this one right here. And it's been growing amazing. I got it as like one head and now it's like, I don't even know, three. It's a beautiful coral. And right here, there's massive peeling going on. Hope you guys can see that. Uh, during the day, I, I can't see it at all because these tentacles get super long, but this is a good time right now. You can see, um, I don't, I'll try and point, but right there, right there, it's peeling. It's, it's about to come off. So uh, I really want to be able to save the rest of the heads. Um, it's not just these two. These two are the big ones that I'm noticing. Uh, this big colony, the uh, the white part, the white flesh, has definitely receded as well on many of these heads. Even these three torches are affected. The white flesh is very min minuscule on these guys. So far, I mean, this guy, the the hammer is still doing good. You can see that's that's like healthy flesh right there. It's about an inch or so. This green guy, the bright vibrant green it's a single head and he's already peeling quite a bit since this morning i don't know if you guys can see there i'll zoom in a bit but as you can see you can see its little skeleton peeking through there so far this one's not peeling so i'm gonna hope to god this one will make it I mean, this little little guy is also not peeling. And for this big guy, I really love him. Um, I've managed to s sneak a peek over here at this head and the flesh band is still good on this head. Okay, so as part of the in-tank treatment, we're gonna be using the same uh, meds as the dip. For the dosage instructions, reach out to um, Kung Fu Corals. They'll walk through um, the dosage with you that's appropriate for your tank and they'll also ensure that you actually have a bacterial infection before commencing. What you'll need is ChemiClean, you'll need amoxicillin and Cipro, and Restore by Brightwell as well. This is amino acids. This is part of the, um, the treatment. Once you're done, you will also need, when you're towards the end of the treatment, you'll also need a Microbacter 7 or a Dr. Tim's bacteria to get the good bacteria back into the aquarium. So keep that in mind. What you'll need to do for the uh, Cipro is you'll need to crush it and then dissolve it in water. So I'll be crushing it in a um, plastic bag with a spoon and then I'll be transferring it into this container. And as for the amoxicillin, you'll just open the tablets and pour it into the container. So I'm gonna get started.
Okay guys, fingers crossed that this is going to work again at, at your own risk. Um, I don't have a lens on the camera, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and dump this into the tank. Okay, so I'm down in the basement, I've cleaned the skimmer head, and I've turned the skimmer back on. As you can see, it is just overflowing right now. I've um, turned this, I've closed this so that it can't start draining out. And I think I'm just gonna maybe dial this back a little bit. So obviously ChemiClean is in the tank right now and all the other stuff, which is um, gonna get my skimmer to overreact. That's normal. So, I maybe I'll just move that over because eventually this is going to fill up and it's just going to start going right back into the aquarium. I just have concerns about it spilling everywhere outside of the aquarium. I don't, I don't obviously want it to come out of the aquarium. So I'm just gonna recenter it because it's not fully centered right now. Okay. Okay, so I've placed the filter back on just so that you guys can see. It's been like an hour or two since the lights are on. And this is the uh, torch that I'm honestly the most concerned about. As you can see, it looks wonderful during the day. You can't, you can't tell that there's anything wrong with it. Um, I just know because I'm, I'm able to look at it at night. And right underneath there is where it's peeling. So it's really, really hard to identify. These guys are looking okay. This one is, let me see if I can point it out, but right here, there's, it's lifting. I can see it's ready to just peel right off, right there. Oh man, that just looks horrible. Yeah, so that guy's peeling. These other ones, the flesh band has receded quite a bit. This guy, I mean, I've seen him look happier before, but yeah, it's hard to see that he's also peeling. I'm just trying to see. There's also a sign that there's something wrong in my tank right here. This guy has suddenly just perished on me. I really should just remove him because there's no coming back from that. And one other sign that there's something wrong is my scully is also peeling. So that's where I'm noticing that there's something going on. The scully over here, these torches only early morning. I can tell that there's something wrong. And then this one, Blasto. But overall, everyone else is doing pretty good sorry I didn't I didn't clean the, the glass on the corners I just cleaned the top view but everyone else is doing pretty good tank is looking better. I did a large water change to try and get the nutrients down and good sign this guy is back open again. And was there anything? Oh yeah, I mean the, the millipore is still not open. Um, the torches... It's still slightly lifting on the green guy, but I mean, I think there's a chance for it to recover. It's not, these guys are not getting any worse, so that's promising. 
Thanks for watching.